Hello everyone, hope you're having the most amazing day today. Welcome to the Film Insight channel. For today's video, we're going to discuss more Ink Master cast members and reveal how they're doing now. So sit back, relax, and without further ado, let's get right into the content guys. Oliver Peck World-renowned artist Oliver Peck was a legend in the industry for his beautiful traditional style tattoos. Making his big break on television in January of 2012, Peck would become a judge on Ink Master alongside other talents like Dave Navarro and Chris Nunes. Once being married to the extremely famous and gifted tattooist Kat Von D, it seemed like Peck was at the top of his game. Being on the show for 8 years, things would come crashing down when some very damning photos were released to the public. Much to the fans' dismay, the talented tattooist was exposed for doing this on more than one occasion. Through some digging, someone managed to find Peck's MySpace, which had tons of appalling photos that were willingly posted by him. Due to the scandal, Peck was booted from the show by the producers after appearing on Ink Master for 13 seasons. At the very least, he wasn't dismissive about his actions and genuinely seemed sorry for his past mistakes. This was made clear in a now deleted Instagram post where Peck said that I look at these photos and it's hard to believe I could have been so clueless, insensitive, and dumb. I hope that I've matured a great deal since then and I'm deeply sorry for everyone I've offended. Do you think this is a good response? Anyway, unsurprisingly, Peck decided to distance himself from television in January of 2020 but is pretty active on his Instagram. Amassing close to 600,000 followers, he isn't exactly consistent with his posting but when he does, it's normally to advertise something. Generally, he'll put up listings for things he wants to sell, host charity events, tell his fans where they can meet up with him, and post photos from his daily life. When you take a look at his comments, you can clearly see that people moved on from the controversy since it's mostly positive. Of course, he could have hired someone to wipe the negativity from his page, but that's probably way too far-fetched. Peck is certainly still active in the tattoo world since he's the co-owner of Elm Street Tattoo and the full owner of True Tattoo, which both have fantastic reviews. We're glad that he's moved on from the situation just fine, cause not everyone can come back from it. Dave Navarro American guitarist, actor, singer, and songwriter Dave Navarro is an extremely versatile man with a decorated history. Inspired by the talent of Jimi Hendrix, Navarro honed his guitar skills from the age of 7, eventually becoming the lead guitarist for a band called Jane's Addiction in 1986, which he had a lot of success with. Though nothing would match the success he was met with upon joining the Red Hot Chili Peppers. Getting to perform at Woodstock in 1994, he also got to play on an album called One Hot Minute, which sold 8 million copies and produced 3 hit singles. How amazing is that? On top of this, the talented artist had a solo career, directed his own adult film, and even acted in several TV shows and movies. Most notably, he was seen in Sons of Anarchy, FCU Fact Checkers Unity, and Z-Rock being in more than one episode each. Fast forward to 2012, Navarro was casted to be the host slash judge on Paramount's show Ink Master, which is something he's been doing for the past 8 years. Looking back on his past occupations, he hasn't done something for more than 5 years, making the show one of his longest commitments. However, you'd be dead wrong to think that the reality show is the only thing on his plate since he's still in contact with his bandmates from Jane's Addiction. Back in February of 2020, Navarro decided to hit the stage once again with his band to perform a memorial show for billionaire Ronald Burkle. In very recent times, the band also released a documentary called Jane's Addiction Replay 2020, which includes exclusive performance footage and interviews with the band members. The 42 minute film is available on Prime Video and is certainly worth the watch if you're a fan of the band or even just Dave Navarro himself. Being the second most followed Ink Master judge on Instagram, Navarro seems to post the most consistently out of the three. Generally speaking, Navarro enjoys sharing photos and videos of his daily life and recently announced that he'll be performing at the Beach Life Festival this September. He also co-owns a merch business with Padilla called Dual Diagnosis, which puts out artistically crafted clothing that are admittedly expensive but great in quality. If you're interested in browsing what they offer, we highly recommend that you give the website a look since it has some really cool stuff. It's awesome to see that this amazing man is doing well. Chris Nunes Drawn to art from a young age, Chris Nunes started as a graffiti artist but quickly fell in love with the craft of tattooing and never looked back. After traveling all around Europe, he secured an apprenticeship at a local tattoo shop and was taught about the fundamentals which helped him grow into the artist that he is today. Before judging on Ink Master, he was casted to be on TLC's show Miami Ink, which went on to become the very first tattoo reality show to be successful. It was set in the shop that he co-owned alongside Amy James called Love Hate Tattoos and it ran for 6 seasons. Other shows tried to capitalize on its success like Inked, but it only lasted a year before being cancelled. Even though Miami Inc. did come to a close in 2008, it spawned spin-offs like LA Inc. and New York Inc. which also went on for several seasons. Moving on to bigger things in 2012, Nunes was casted as a judge on Ink Master, which is the longest running show he's been on. 
According to his biography on the Paramount website, he's also partnered with Ridgeline Empire, which is a content and media corporation. Interestingly enough, he's also worked with an animation studio to produce two animated series called Hood Brats and Toothians, which have been in development since 2014. What's kinda odd is that if you try to search for any updates on how these are doing, it's almost as if they don't exist. Anyway, appearing in every season of Ink Master without fail, Nunes additionally made some small appearances on shows like Katie and The Tattoo Shop. If you take a look at the original Love Hate Tattoo website, you'd see that he's no longer listed as an owner. Originally, the website made it clear that the business was owned by James and Nunes, but now there isn't any mention of him. This is all speculation, but it's possible that after Nunes' harassment lawsuit in 2014, he was asked to part ways with the business. Controversy aside, the talented artist recently released his own application called Color Collab, which is a digital coloring book that allows you to collaborate with big name artists. He's also planning to release a docu-series that he's been working on for the past three years that highlights the life and art of tribes in the Amazon. How incredibly fascinating. Kyle Dunbar Two-time contestant Kyle Dunbar made his debut on Ink Master in the third season of the show, then returned for the fourth. Impressively being a self-taught tattoo artist, Dunbar supposedly worked at almost every shop in his town, truly making a name for himself. However, he didn't jump from shop to shop of his own volition, since he was fired from practically every single one of them. It wasn't exactly because he wasn't qualified, don't get me wrong, he certainly was, but it's because he was insufferable to work with. Having a terribly abrasive attitude, he would often cause a lot of tension in the workplace, which is understandably not welcome. In the end, he decided to open a tattoo shop of his own in 2003 with the help of his wife, and it's been nothing but successful. People from all parts of the world have visited his business to get inked in his signature hyperrealism style. Landing a spot on the hit show Ink Master in 2013, Dunbar managed to fight his way into the top 5, which is pretty impressive. Though, he didn't leave the competition empty-handed, since he was voted by 200,000 people to return for the fourth season. Possibly being one of the most experienced of the contestants that season, Dunbar seemed to have the upper hand. However, this was far from the truth since his Elimination Challenge tattoos were not on par with his past portfolio. Due to this fact, he was heavily critiqued especially by Nunes who was consistently disappointed to see his work regress in quality. Pushed off the edge by the 8th episode after a ton of buildup, Dunbar tries to attack Nunes in frustration but they're quickly broken apart. Ultimately, this altercation led to his elimination and he was never featured on the show again, which is understandable. Despite creating some infamous moments on the show, Dunbar continued to find success in the tattoo world. Becoming a traveling tattoo artist, he's done work at conventions in Philadelphia, Fort Myers, Massachusetts, and many other places around the country. While he does have an Instagram with over 100,000 followers you can check out, he hasn't posted since October of last year and hasn't updated his official website either. Things have been pretty radio silent from him, but we do hope he's doing well. Well, that'll be all for today's video here on the channel. I do hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to drop a massive like down below and comment your thoughts. Subscribe for more content like this and turn on those sweet bell notifications for instant access to our content. Have a good one guys!